Welcome, boys and girls, to an episode of PA and Phonics Fun. I am your host, Summer L. Newman, and this is your teacher, Stephanie Millette. For today's lesson, you will need a pencil, paper, and some small objects like pennies, cereal, or buttons. Have fun. Good morning. I'm so glad to be with your, that you're here with me today. Uh, for some phonics fun. Today we're going to be learning about uh, the digraph SH. But before we get started, I want to do a little warm up for our brain. So let's look at some sight words. I want you to say the words and then we'll say them together. This is our first word. Can you say the word? That's right, work. This is our next word. Say the word, very, good job. Look at this one, sound it out, say it, think. Our next word, can you say it? Good, good job, keep going. This one, new, new, great. Here's our next one. It's got a silent letter. No, no. Awesome. Here's another one. Can you say it? Year, year. Here's our next one. Sound, sound. Awesome. Our next word, over. Over. Can you get this one? In two. In two. There's another one. When. When. How about this one? Do you know it? Find. Let's try this one. Can you say it? Went. Awesome. Here's another one. Funny. Did you get it? How about this one? Can you say it? After. Awesome. And the last one. Did you get it? Two. Good job, boys and girls. That's a fabulous warm up for our brains. So now we're going to warm up our ears. We've got our brain working. We're going to warm up our ears. So for this activity, what I want you to do is I'm going to say a list of words. And if you hear the sh sound in the word, I want you to give me a thumbs up. If you don't hear the sh sound in the word, I want you to give me a thumbs down. Can you do that? Are you ready? All right, let's try it. Fish. Fish. That's right, thumbs up, good job. We heard the sh in fish. Now let's try another one. Dress, dress. Thumbs down, right? Yes, because we didn't hear sh in dress. Here's another one. Ship, ship. Thumbs up, right? Awesome job. Are you ready for the next one? Ash, ash, thumbs up, right? Shh, there's a shh in ash. All right, here's one. Miss, miss, thumbs down, right? There's no shh in miss. Shot, shot, that's right, thumbs up. There's shh in shot. Here's a tricky one, cheese. Cheese, thumbs down. We hear a ch, not a sh. Good job. Here's another one. Rich, rich. Thumbs down, good job. There's a ch, not a sh. All right, and our last word, mesh, mesh. Thumbs up, awesome job. 
good warm up for our ears this morning. All right. Now we're going to do a little working with our letters and the letters that make the SH sound. So what we're going to do is look at our chart and what makes the SH sound? What the digraph SH is when two letters work together to make one sound. Two letters, one sound. We don't, when we put them together, it's one sound. So, SH says shh, shh. Let's look at some words that have the shh sound. We see shed, shed, shed. Here we have shirt, shirt. SH can also come at the end of a word. Slush, slush. Here we have push, push. What about she, she. Here we have wash, wash. Here's another one, show, show. Shell, shell. Here's one at the end, bush, bush. And what's our picture? It's a shark, shark. Good job. Now we're going to practice blending some SH words because SH is a digraph, so it's two letters, but they make one sound. So we're going to be doing some blending on the blending board today. So what you'll need, you can take a piece of paper and you can have, make four squares. And what you'll do is one sound from each word goes in a box. So I'm using little magnetic cars. So what we'll do is I'm going to say some SH words and we're going to put each sound in a box. Are you with me? All right, looking down here at my boxes, our first word is fish, fish. Let's sound it out. Fish, fish. Why is there only one sound at the end? Because two letters make one sound. Sh, f, i, sh. Good job. Our next word we're going to blend is ship. Ship. Sh, i, p, ship. We hear three sounds in ship. All right, let's try another one. How about the word ash, ash, a, sh. We have two sounds in ash. Good job. All right, you ready to try one? You got your boxes ready? All right, I'm gonna give you a word. Shot, shot. How many sounds do you hear? Are you moving your pennies? Are you moving your Cereal, whatever you're using at home, let's try it together. Sh, a, uh, t, shot. Did you get it? Awesome. Here's another one. Fresh, fresh. Wow, fresh. Let's sound it out. F, r, e, sh. Did you get four sounds? Fresh, good job. Our next one is mesh, mesh. You ready? Are you working with me? M, e, sh, mesh, good job. All right, here's another sh word. Shell, shell, sh, e, 
bull, shell. Why did we only put one ol? We have two L's in shell, but that's a double. They only make one sound, right? Just like we have two letters here making one sound, our L's do the same thing for us. Good job if you figured that out on your own. Awesome. All right. Next word is shop. Shop. Sh. Ah. Uh, Shop. Shop. Good job. Three sounds. All right. Let's try this one. Stash. Stash. Let's sound it out. S. T. A. Sh. Stash. Did you get four sounds? Awesome job. All right. Now. We've done our blending. The next thing we're going to do is, what does our mouth do when we're saying shh? Our mouth, our teeth come together, our lips poke out, and we make the shh sound. Can you do that at home? Do that for me now. Shh, shh. It's just like when your mom tells you to be quiet. Shh, shh. So that's our key in remembering the digraph SH. Shh, shh. Awesome job. All right, so now we've blended our words with the sounds. Let's start making them with some letters. Can you do that with me? All right, you need your blending board again. I just put four sticky notes on, on my board here to give me my four boxes. All right, I'm using magnetic letters. If you want to write yours at home, that's fine too. So what we're going to do is we're going to build our letters, build our words in boxes, because that helps us remember how to spell them. All right, let's try this. Our first word is ash. A sh ash. Now, let's play with this. What could we do to change ash to cash? What would you do? It's ash. I want it to be k ash. So I'm going to need to move my letters over and add a k. So what would you put? K, k, ash, cash. Did you get it? All right, now we're gonna take cash and we're going to make the word into clash, clash. What can I do? Clash. So I need to move these over and I need to make a all. So now I have clash, clash. Did you get it? Awesome. Now let's take clash and make it into Stash, stash, so I'm st ash. So I need to take these and I need a st ash, stash. Did you get it? It's fun changing words, isn't it? All right, let's try a different one. Are you ready? Can you do this at home? All right, what about the word fresh? Fresh, er, eh, sh, fresh. Can you change fresh into mesh? Let me see, mesh. So I need a mm, eh, sh, mesh. Did you get it? All right. Now, let's change meh, let's start over. Let's just get a different one. We got that. Let's try sh shot. Uh, my letters got mixed up, do you do that? All right, so we have the word shot. Sh 
shot. How can we change that into the word shop? Shop. So shot. I need a p at the end. So now I've changed shot to shop. Good job. All right. That concludes our blending and substitution and deletion. Have you had a good time doing that, working with our sh words? Awesome. Now, I want you to do a little spelling for me. So you need to get out your pen and paper, pencil and paper, whatever you're going to write on, and we're going to do some spelling. Are you ready? So I'm going to say the word, and then I want you to write it at home, and then we're going to check it together. Can you do that? All right, our first word is ash. Ash. Are you writing it down? So let's check it. Ash. Ash. Did you get it on your paper? Awesome. Our next word is fish. Fish. Are you writing? I know you can do it. Fish. Let's look and see if yours matches mine. Did you get it? Fish. Fish. Our next word is mesh. Mesh. Are you writing? Think about it. Write it down. You ready? Let's check it. Mesh. Mesh. Awesome. All right. Let's do a couple more. Our next word is cash. Cash. Are you writing? Think it out. Sound it out. And then write it. Let's check it. Cash. Cash. Did you get it? Great. Our next word is stash. Stash. Think it. Sound it out. Write it. Are you ready? Let's check it. Stash. Stash. Awesome. Are you getting all of them? Let's try one more. Ship. Ship. Sound it out. Write it down. Let's check it. Ship. Ship. Did you get them? I bet you did. You're very smart practicing your phonics every day. All right, now let's do a little work with my story. I have an SH story for us to look at today. Here it is. I lost it. All right, our story today is the red shell. But before we read our story, I want to find all the shh words in it. So I started it for you, and I need some help to finish it. So let's find all the shh words. So I have shell. Here's one, ash. Here's one, stash. Cash. She. Shop. Mesh. Here's ash again. And then fresh and fish. So let's look for the, some more shh words. Can you help me find them? And I'll underline them for you. All right. So Ash talks a lot about Ash. Is she our main character? Then ship. Ship. 
Here's one, fresh. Here we got fish. My underliner broke. It'll be all right. Here's ash again. Then on this line, oh, there's one. Ship. Ship. Then fresh. Here's one, fish. Shot. What about mesh? Mesh. Here's fish again. This is a fishy story. There's a shell. Shell. Here's Ash's name again. Because it has a capital letter, right? It's got to be somebody's name. Here's fish. Here's shell again. She. So Ash is a she. And then a shell. And fish. And stash of cash. And I ran out of underliners. Oh my goodness. We'll just pretend we got it. All right, let's read the story. The Red Shell. Ash got her stash of cash. She went to the shop to get a mesh net. The net will help Ash get a fresh fish. Ash got on a ship to find the fresh fish. When Ash went out on her ship, four fresh ship fish shot into her mesh net. One fish had a red shell in his fin. Ash held the fish with the shell. She got the shell away from the fish and put it in her stash of cash. All right, boys and girls, we'll be learning more about our SH story tomorrow. So, thank you for being with me today. All rights and credits for today's lesson belong to the West Virginia Department of Education. We would like to thank them publicly for sharing these valuable resources materials. Bye. Bye.